guys, it's Andy here at Letter Rip Tater Chip Channel, and today I'm going to show you uh, a pedal I recently just got. Um, I've had it in the past, but you know, it's it was one of those things where like I had to sell something to get something, and to get something I had to sell something. Um, but you know, it, it came back to one of those times of like I really wanted it back in my arsenal to have just for accents and. Uh, different tonalities and of course some other things I'm sure people are going to be like oh of course but um, this pedal is notorious with a lot of um, like 90's bands kind of like Korn um, Gons Godsmack and obviously Pantera and Mr. Dimebag Daryl it is the whammy pedal um, the whammy pedal does have a lot of different features on it from where it goes from core tones, uh, like uh, w when you're in one octave, it'll go to another octave. Um, you can set it to so, so, so low to where it's just incomprehensible of, it, it doesn't even sound right. Um, but like, it, it's a cool pedal to have um, just to give different accents, different tones. Um, and I'll go through uh, a couple of my favorite settings on here. Um, it's more notorious, again, with Dimebag Daryl. Um, him using it when he's doing his pig squeals, he'll uh, hit the um, octave or octave two to make it go like beyond amp screaming, amp blowing out speakers, you know, that kind of tone. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, again, I'm going to go through a few settings on here that I really like. Um, most of the viewing is going to be on my foot. Um, you know, I you guys don't really need to see what my guitar playing is. You, you can check out other videos. It's mostly just checking out the, pit, the pedal and how to use it. Um, and I'll, I'll go through some riffs and different tones and, and chord progressions to show how to use it and uh, what you can do with it. So again guys, I hope you enjoy this video and watch it go. Alright guys, so right now I do have it set on uh, the one octave higher, meaning that uh, right now I'm playing in uh, D standard, so once I make this go down, it'll go to E standard. Um, so unlike a wall pedal, where you get your kind of lower deep tone when the pedal is up and your troubly uh, high pitched when it's down it's opposite on the whammy so and it's got an on and off button uh, so you can engage the the tone just in case you just want to have it down and you can just tap it real quick um, so right now it is on and this is just D standard sounding. And when I engage, putting the pedal down, it'll be E standard. As you can see, if I turn the pedal off, it went right back to my my uh, D standard tuning. Um, so it kind of gives it like a cool, different tonality to it, um, you know. And that the, right now, the the one octave higher, just to give it uh, a different tone when you're doing like a, a kind of like a solo or a quick lick, and just right at the end hitting that pedal, kind of like this. So you kind of got that, sorry for bumping the camera, um, but 
another cool setting on it and to show you how to to switch it it's just this black knob in the middle it just goes up and down and all the way around it's got a cool LED to show you where your indicator is um, so another favorite setting of mine is the dive bomb um, so this is what I was saying is like incoherent just stupid noise like, again same guitar sound. So I'll just play kind of a, a standard pentatonic scale uh, out of the 12th and then I'll do my dive, dive bomb engage and show you how it sounds. Now dive bomb. Pretty cool. Um, it's also got these kind of uh, chorusy sounds to it, the deep and the swallow. Um, so it gives it a different tone. And this is what I was saying with the one octave down, one octave up. So if I engage it now, it's in C standard tuning because the pedal is down. And if I engage the pedal up, it'll go to E standard. to uh, the one octave up just to show kind of like what Dime did with like pick squeals and stuff. So standard pick squeal and then with the whammy and I'll engage slowly so it'll, it won't blow out your fucking ears in my mic. It's got a bunch of different other settings on it. You know, it's just kind of one of those pedals you have to, you know, play around with and, uh, you know, get different tones and what have you with it. And it just, it provides different accents. You can add more. You, you, you know, it, it's something that you can utilize to make, you know, your, more, your music more complicated, you know. Like, oh my God, how did that guy play that, that part? Well, guess what? That'll help. Well, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, learned a little something. Um, you know, it, I'm going to enjoy this pedal a lot. Uh, I'm going to use the hell out of it. I use and abuse. Um, you know, I have a lot of fun with it. I'm glad I got it back in my arsenal. 
Um, you know, if you're if you're looking to buy one, do it. I know they have like a smaller version. I call I think it's called like the Ricochet or something like that. I haven't personally tried it out, but it, it's essentially the same thing, just without the rocker and all the settings on it. Um, you know, it's just got a few settings on it. Uh, for me, I like having the option to having a lot more to use. So that's why I got the bigger one again. Um, other than that, again, I hope you guys enjoyed. And always remember, guys, let it rip. Take a chip.